Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to find out the total distance traveled by a ball which is dropped freely from a certain height before it stops bouncing completely. Let us understand what's the meaning of this. Let us consider the body starting from the state of rest. Say dropped from a height h. When it hits a solid floor, it bounces back to a height h1. This is after the first collision. Then in the previous video lesson, we have proved that coefficient of restitution is root of height to which it has bounced back by height from which it has fallen. So simplifying this further will get you e square as h1 by h that implies h1 as e square into h. Now body falls back by the same height h1 and strikes the floor. So it again bounces back to a height h2. It will be keep on repeating. That means it falls again by h2. It falls again by h2, strikes the floor, rises to a height h3. Like this, it will be keep on traveling distance. I would like to calculate what is the distance traveled by the body. Therefore, the total distance traveled by the body is it is initially falling from certain height h then it has raised to your height h1 and again fallen to the same height h1 similarly h2 twice and so on until we happening I can rewrite this as h plus h1 as we have already explained e square into h to h2 as e power 4 into h as we have proved in the previous video lesson height bounced back by the body after n number of the collisions is e power 2n into h here n equal to 2 next time is 2 e power 6 into h and so on so simplifying this further the first height is h itself h if i have taken common 1 plus 2e square 2e power 4 2e power 6 and so on we need to simplify this equation further let us simplify that implies the total distance traveled is h of 1 plus in all the remaining terms let us take 2e square common 1 plus e square e power 4 e power 6 and so on so h 1 plus 2e square these terms are in geometric progression of infinite terms summation of the infinite terms in geometric progression is a by 1 minus r where a is the first term r is the ratio of second term to first term or third term to second term and so on so simplifying this further h of 1 plus 2e square of first term is 1 
1 minus re second term by first term e square. So simplifying this further, h of 1 plus 2 e square by 1 minus e square. Simplifying it even further by taking LCM 1 minus e square, 1 minus e square plus 2 e square. So the total distance traveled by the body is 1 plus e square by 1 minus e square of the height from which the body has started falling. This e is called coefficient of restitution, which is a measure of nature of the collision. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.